In the past, Marvel has produced animated television shows and direct-to-video films based off comics, but not major distribution films. At present, Marvel only has one major animated slated for production, Lord and Miller's Spider-Man films, with Miles Morales taking up the responsibility. With countless storylines and heroes readily available, the lack of animated films feels like a hole that needs some filling. Why isn't Marvel commissioning more animated films? It boggles our minds. Which is why today we're going to help Marvel jumpstart production right now. Before you get too busy grabbing paper and pens to start sketching Marvel's next big animated film, try to click the subscribe button to make sure you get all the latest videos sent right to your inbox. Runaways Brian K. Vaughn's Runaways first appeared in comic book form in July 2003. The book followed an assorted group of teenagers who discover their parents are supervillains. Nico, Chase, Gertrude, Carolina, and Molly then learn they have inherited superpowers from their parents, kept secret to them. Together they leave their families and lives behind to form new friendships, learn about themselves, and of course, help save the world. The original run had 18 issues published before it was cancelled. However, due to fans and high demand for the trade version, version of Runaways, the series relaunched and solidified its status as one of Marvel's best and most beloved comic book series. At present, Runaways is slated for a live-action television series in 2018, but it would make for a much better animated film. The inspiration for the animation is already there for the taking thanks to Adrian Alfona's stunning work as the artist of the original run of the comic book. CGI has come a long way, but it can't replace the hand-drawn beauty of Carolina when she's in her alien form. The colors, the sparkle, the way she floats amongst the group. How much better would that be animated than a motion capture performance? Or Gert and her dinosaur old lace together on screen? The diversity and unique look of these young superheroes would be best represented by them staying in original, true, drawn form. Wait! Let him finish! No! The pain! The X-Men when the words Marvel and animation are used in the same sentence, it's hard not to have flashbacks to the early 1990s, a time when Marvel's animated television shows were dominating scene and providing viable, well-written episodes brought to life on screen. The most dominant of them all? The X-Men animated series. Running for five seasons, the TV adaptation brought to life the X-Men's most memorable and compelling storylines, setting the standard for all future comic book animations on screen. Which is why, when talking about what comic books Marvel should turn into animated feature-length films to be released in theaters, the X-Men are a must-have. The groundwork for the blockbuster animated film has already been set. Yes, the X-Men franchise has been picked apart on the big screen for almost two decades now, covering several of the major storylines. To that, we say, who cares? X-Men animated means the fans will get to see so much more of what they love than the current live-action films can provide. Hugh Jackman can't wear yellow spandex? No problem, animated Wolverine can. Worried Jubilee's fireworks would look corny? Not when it's animated, Professor Xavier can finally be in his hover wheelchair. Imagine the possibility of having all your favorite mutants without the barrier of salary caps for actors, and seeing Genosha, Outer Space, The Savage Land, and The X-Mansion all in one movie. Animating the X-Men allows it to be in its truest form, with all the wild, colored costumes, visually appealing mutant powers, and out-of-this-world locations. I actually thought it was kind of amazing. Moon Knight Moon Knight is an enigma, to the fans and sometimes to his own creators. For far too long, Moon Knight has existed on the fringes, despite having a core fan base who've been clamoring for a mainstream Moon Knight for years. Appearing in dozens of Marvel comic books over the last few decades, both self-titled and sharing the page with other superheroes, Moon Knight has not exactly found his place in the Marvel Universe yet, be it page or screen. That is why we believe what Moon Knight needs is not another comic book series, but his own animated motion picture. We are talking worldwide release. What better way to take an often misunderstood superhero into the mainstream? Depending on who is writing him in Marvel Comics, Moon Knight could be Marvel's answer to the vigilante Batman, or an insane dude who has multiple personalities. A film could help reset his characterization. Animating the film makes sense when it comes to the nuances Moon Knight's characters and storylines, the mythological aspect of Kenoshu, the multiple personalities, and his all-white costume and moon-themed weapons could have serious trouble translating to a live-action film. Would you believe a guy dressed in all white carrying a boomerang wouldn't get dirty in a fight? Imagine that animated, though. Suddenly all the fringe elements of Moon Knight, though pictures, retains its comic book feel and we buy into the reality. Moon Knight is unlike any Marvel superhero out there right now, and his stories can be brought to wider audiences, pulling him out of the fringe and into the spotlight. Cloak and Dagger Another comic that has been long-standing Marvel franchise and yet remains on the fringe of fans' minds is Cloak and Dagger. The comic is being 
turned into a live-action show in 2018. The animated film could serve as a prequel to the television show. Hand-drawn animation for this film would really draw out the contrasting dynamic of the two main characters, light and darkness. Being able to shade and shadow, brighten and lighten up animation is an advantage animated films have over live-action. Color plays a pivotal role in the comic book version, that to lose those elements would affect the story itself. A more serious and important note about Cloak and Dagger is the diversity its cast would bring to the screen, even in animated form. It is fact that most of the current Marvel Cinematic Universe is male-dominated and lacking minority lead characters. While this is changing, with the inclusion of superheroes like Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Captain Marvel, the Black Panther, all headlining their own work, there is still plenty of opportunity. Cloak and Dagger would increase the diversity of the Marvel spectrum on screen. Their film would be a powerful mechanism to provide role models for audience members who may feel there aren't any superheroes out there overcoming struggles. After all, superheroes are extraordinary, and so it might not be easy to relate to, say, billionaire Tony Stark. But if the film showed Cloak's stutter as a teenager, his struggle to drive to overcome his stutter unlocks a whole new relatability factor to audiences who might not feel they are represented on screen. X Factor Investigations The Marvel superhero team is not a new dynamic, as we've seen with the Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy, and the soon-to-be Defenders. Often the team is brought together to save the world from a villain they learn to work together and save the day. We believe there is still plenty of uncharted territory in storytelling to bring fresh perspectives to the screen. X Factor Investigations takes the concept of the superhero group and turns it on its head. X Factor Investigations examines what it would be like to have a superhero team who are not all good guys and with some questionable motives come together to act as a detective agency and not as defenders of the earth. The result is a funny, engaging series unlike anything currently out there. While characters like Banshee, M, Longshot, Polaris, and Multiple Man use their powers, the focus is not about mutant abilities. It's much more about the group dynamic and getting to the truth. Often referred to as the X-Files but with mutants, this series crosses a lot of genres, characters, and storylines. X-Factor Investigations has deep ties to other Marvel franchises, particularly the X-Men, allowing for development of an animated universe. Animation would also be able to mimic the noir storytelling style. X-Factor Investigations could even go so far as to get Marvel meta and try to unravel all the mysteries and plot holes of our favorite storylines once and for all. Inhumans Traditionally, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has focused on the best-known superheroes and storylines familiar to comic book readers. It was the smart and safe choices to make when feature-length superhero films started being released. Who doesn't love Thor, Hulk, and Captain America? Over the last decade, audiences have gotten used to this universe. While we have expanded beyond Earth thanks to Thor, Doctor Strange, and the Guardians of the Galaxy, it remains that the live-action films adhere to the established universe. We haven't much explored beyond it. Now, audience are ready to embrace what is beyond this realm. What other beings are in the universe that have great stories ready to be told? The Inhumans. Studios agree, as an Inhumans television show is in the works. However, there is currently storyline established. The time is right to bring forward the Inhumans as a counterbalance to the status quo. Audiences are ready for new worlds and characters. An Inhumans animated film can combine both. I can deliver an experience that explores space without making it seem silly and pursue a variation of mutants with even more history to unravel the than any current superhero. So often filming in space involves being in a spaceship or a spacesuit. The Inhumans require none of these things, which is why animation can provide the freedom to explore the Inhumans in their natural settings without the audience trying to apply logic. The Inhumans are in-betweeners, kind of human but not, from Earth but not exactly. The diversity of their makeup and alienness can be keenly represented by animation in the way they are drawn in Marvel's comics. They can take us on a journey to a new galaxy, explore planets and new species, who wouldn't get excited for an animated lockjaw? Dazzler. Although she is most known for her association with the X-Men, what we really want to see is a standalone Dazzler animated film. Just because she was originally commissioned to be a superhero as a tie-in for a comic book cross-promotion with a record label doesn't mean she hasn't evolved since then. In fact, in the last decade, there has been a resurgence in Dazzler's popularity. It would be a terrific addition to Marvel. Superhero films are severely lacking in female leads with strong, ambitious stories 
storylines. Women and young girls are looking for role models to see themselves as the heroine. Alison Blair is a tough, gifted, smart woman who can take care of herself, and to have a movie where the girl doesn't need to be saved is a powerful message to young female fans. This film has the potential to pave the way for other female-driven films. Imagine the stunning visual potential with Dazzler's sound being converted into light beams. On a technical level, animation can help draw out the beauty and power of Dazzler's mutant abilities. Alison Blair has a wide range of powers that have not been fully explored. She is arguably one of the most powerful mutants in the X-Men franchise. Animation is a powerful medium to let Dazzler shine as bright as her light. Namor Places that are difficult or nearly impossible to shoot in live-action film with actors, set, and crew inside a volcano, in outer space, outside during a hurricane, and underwater. How do you make a film that convincingly portrays a main character whose main residence is the underwater city of Atlantis? It seems that Marvel has yet to be able to answer this question, too. Fans have been asking for a solo Namor the Submariner movie for years, and the studio has yet to deliver. Namor, who's a significant character in the comic books, having his own titles over years and being a partner to superhero groups like the Avengers, the Illuminati, the X-Men, and the Fantastic Four. Marvel has found it difficult to translate this character into live-action cinematic universe. One of the major challenges has been how to show him convincingly existing and interacting underwater. After all, why have a Namor movie if you're gonna have him on land the whole time? Which has meant Namor has been left out of every storyline. There is one solution, make Namor a full-length animated film. The film could take place underwater without the challenges of filming in the ocean. Animation allows us to suspend our disbelief of the ocean. Since we know it's not real, we're not expecting Namor, Atlantis, underwater action scenes, or him talking to fish, if they so choose to go that route, to be realistic. Please consider the consequences of your actions. Okay, they're considered. Power Pack Despite how much they love Iron Man or Captain America, it may not be appropriate to bring young kids to an Avengers or Spider-Man movie. The current cinematic universe films often have a lot of violence, death, and can be scary to younger kids. What if there was a mainstream? movie that has superheroes, exciting action sequences, and was more appropriate for younger audiences. Enter the Power Pack. As Marvel's first pre-teen superhero squad, the storylines would not only deal with saving the world, but also growing up, making the story relatable to younger audiences. Thinking in the long term, Power Pack could have multiple films, and while the characters grow up, the audiences are growing up with them. Both are dealing with issues like bullying, violence, and learning to deal with responsibility and power, all topics that have roots to the original comics. A Power Pack animated film would solve not only the challenge of quality entertainment at an age-appropriate level, but also help to cultivate younger audiences for comic books. What kid doesn't love the idea of four superhero siblings jetting around to save the world without adult supervision? That's a young kid's dream. Any kid could see themselves in Alex, Julie, Jack, or Katie, saving their parents and the world while getting to wear cool costumes? Yeah, I'm in. In the comics, Power Pack also has several crossovers with other well-known Marvel superheroes, Spider-Man, the Avengers, and some of the X-Men. Plenty of opportunity for creating an animated multiverse. You're always telling me I should push myself. If you know you can deflect it, then you're not challenging yourself. New Mutants It is a troupe of the superhero film, especially during an origin story. We see the main character undergo some sort of learning montage. <laughs> Usually, they are floundering in the beginning, understanding their powers, like in X-Men First Class, and by the end of the montage have confidently mastered their abilities, or at least enough skill to go out and do battle. But the audience never really spends a significant amount of time during this learning and growing phase. The teenage would-be superheroes are being trained by Professor Xavier while attending school and growing up. It's an interesting take on the superhero journey. What does it look like in the beginning when you don't know much and still growing up? It speaks to the teenage crowd as an allegory for everyday life. The X-Men at their core have always been about what it means to be other, and being a teenager so often involves feeling isolated, persecuted, and confused about all the changes happening. New Mutants film would be an excellent addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe to speak to the younger generation. New Mutants have a rich back history in the Marvel Universe with dozens of potential storylines to pull from, and combinations of teams. This allows for a longevity to the franchise with the potential for multiple sequels. Well, this is just the prototype, the real one will look considerably better. With all these movies we're proposing, we sure are gonna have to rearrange our schedule to be able to catch them all in theaters. Uh, which reminds us, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. We know how busy you're gonna be watching movies the next few years. Did we miss any you hope to see come out? Let us know in the comments below, and see you next time.